today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your macro and explain why it's not working and common practices that will help you fix it and make sure it's working every time. Ever since I posted my last macro video, a lot of you guys have had a lot of questions and had a lot of issues with the macro. So I'm going to be explaining every common issue you may be encountering and show you every way that I know to fix them. Please watch this video all the way and pay attention to what I'm doing because a lot of issues that have been experienced are user error issues. So please pay very, very close attention to what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. So the very first thing to do if your macro is not working is obviously go ahead and make sure you're downloading from the correct source. I would recommend downloading it from my website because I have gone ahead and put in the V11 version. This is the version that I used in my most popular macro video. So make sure you download it off of the website. So click on this link right here. Now, if anything pops up before that, that is not the download. The media fire download is the correct one. It should say fish macro V11 and it should only be 25.54 kilobytes large. So make sure that that's the correct file size and go ahead and download macro. Just click download and it will download an AHK file. I already have it downloaded on my computer, so I'm not going to read out. The next thing is that you're downloading the correct version of auto hotkey. I've said this in my main video. I don't know if everyone listened or not, but you have to download the v.v1 version. So click the download of v.v1 deprecated. Click the download button. This setup file is going to be in your downloads, right? So once it's completely done, go ahead and open this file up. Now on screen, it's going to pop up. You can't see this because OBS does not record this, but it says, do you want to allow this to make changes to your device? Click yes or nothing will happen. So click yes. Now a little menu box should open up here in a second. And now it's going to ask what we want. Do we want a custom installation or an express in installation? Click express and it will basically say they shouldn't take too long and then click run auto hot don't click any of this you can if you want but that is not required so i'm gonna go ahead and click run auto hotkey and this is basically gonna open up and this is gonna tell us that it's been installed so then we can exit out and we can exit out of this so now once you're in your files go ahead and open this all you have to do is double tap on it and it will open up asphalt cakes macro. Now, before I get any further into this video, I do want to say that I am building my own custom macro that has a higher catch rate and is faster than this macro. It's been, it's been in development for a really long time. Hoping to get that out soon. I can't make any promises though. So if you still have problems at the end of this video, you can keep a lookout for it because it will be available on Mac and Windows when it is complete. You can join my Discord for updates about that. I post on it as much as I possibly can and I send a couple sneak peeks and leaks. But anyways, without any more of that gammering, I'm going to go ahead and continue into the next couple steps that you need to make sure. So we have the macro open and there's a couple things I'll go back and touch on in a second within the settings, but I just want to show you what you need to do. So if your thing is not work, very, very first thing you need to make sure you're doing is that you have this camera mode toggled off with your fish in the thing, with your fishing rod equipped, right? If, and this is if we want to actually start fishing. Now, by default, with this macro that you have uh, that's linked on my website, it will have it on shake mode click. The navigation key will be backslash. So when I click P, it's literally just going to automatically go into the mode going to put my head down and it's just going to start auto shaking. And there we go. I mean, it's really not too hard. This right here, I just want you to know this bar right here, it's not super accurate. And that's why I'm building my own version. But for the time being, the reason why this isn't accurate is if you have a super small bar, it's going to be a lot harder catch. And that's just makes sense because this is estimating where it's going to go based on these little bars at the bottom. So you want a fishing rod with more control and a bigger bar down there, or obviously you're not going to catch as many fish. So just know that now there's a lot of other things I need to cover because there's still a lot of things that people are doing wrong and you guys still may be encountering issues. So I'm going to click M to stop it. I'm going to go out of this. And a lot of people have been asking, why is the menu open? Why is the menu open? And that is because it's going in here and I believe it's changing your brightness settings. That way it can catch the white on screen easier. Just exit out. It's not a problem. It's not going to do anything. If it's just sitting, opening your menu and doing nothing else, then here's a couple things that we can go ahead and tweak. Now this will take a little bit of brain power. Shouldn't be too hard because everything in here has already been labeled and explained. This is basically all the general settings for this. So you can can turn on auto lower graphics auto zoom in camera all of this stuff which is basically what automatically does everything for me so I don't have to do this whole setup now the next thing I want you guys to know if you have chosen I believe there's different shake modes right and you can either change it to navigation or click it literally tells you right here so shake mode equals if you change this to navigation, it's going to use your navigation toggle to click the things on screen. You can change your navigation toggle or know what yours is by going here. It says use the slash back, the backslash key to enter this. And I already actually have mine enabled like that. So go through here. Everything's labeled. So if you're having an issue that's super weird or different, make sure you read these settings and go through them. Tweak them. They're all labeled. It literally says bar size is automatically calculated. Set manual value to override. It explains everything inside of the code. When you're done editing, done making changes, click control S.
Now the next thing I want to cover is if it's just not working, right? Which is basically why you're here watching. The very first thing you need to make sure is you have your you have your settings screen size correct, right? So if you go into settings, basically click on display and you want your display resolution scale to be set to to 100%. Now, this right here is currently my settings 1920 by 1200. If for some reason your thing is not working, you can always try setting it to what I have. Now it'll probably look weird because your computer monitor isn't set up for this. That's always something you can try if it's not working though. The next thing I would recommend, a lot of people have been saying this fixes your issue. For me, it's made no difference, but a lot of people have been saying this is if you unequip your bait. So you cannot, some people say you cannot use bait while you're doing this. And this is because the, the program reads to see if there's white on the screen and this says current bait and it's white. So it will miscalculate and make it click the wrong thing. For me, I've had no problem with that and it doesn't make much of a difference. But a lot of people have been saying that that has a major effect on it. The next thing, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I still do. You cannot be in full screen when you're doing this. From what I know, it hasn't worked for me in full screen and it probably won't work for you in full screen. So just know that. The next thing is obviously it automatically lowers your graphics for a reason because that's going to make your AFK time look better, create less lag on your computer. That way it can be more accurate. So do not try to go manually change your graphics back up. You don't need that. Your, you don't need super high graphics when you're not even playing. I don't get what the point of that is and I don't know why anyone's trying to change it. Again, like I said, if this does not help you at all and you still have issues or you're looking for it on Mac, I will have a Mac macro coming out that will be better than this. I'm just trying to show you this guys for the time being while you still have to use this because I have been getting thousands of comments and questions. I want to clear up the air. If you have any recommendations or things that helped your macro work, I did not cover in this video. Please make sure to comment them down below and share and help people out in the comments because it's too much for me to do alone and I want to help. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, any extra things, comment them down below and that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.